How's it going guys? Welcome back to Gary's Mod, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Action Extension Mod. Now, I believe we did take a look at this mod quite a while ago, although unfortunately, because of the whole glue library thing and some other issues, it kind of had some problems, and it kind of stopped working the way it was intended, which is really, really unfortunate. But thankfully, it has been restored, and we now have access to it again without the malicious additions. You get some pretty cool effects, like for one, being able to slow down time as you leap, and all the animations are accounted for. We will take a look at this in third person. It looks even better, I promise. But it's really cool and it feels really awesome. You can even see there's like a bullet time effect. Suddenly your bullets, which you cannot see individually, now you can because time has slowed down. Now something even better is this does have full support for TFA based weapons. Like, well, the TFA base Left 4 Dead weapons video in the top right corner. So the thing that's really cool about this is you do get full range of motion. You can leap to the right or you can leap in front of you. And of course, you can leap behind you. If only there were some cool leg animations. This might actually work with a leg mod, by the way, like Gmod legs, although I don't exactly know for sure, so don't quote me on that. Now, of course, this really comes in handy when you are fighting other NPCs. And the cool thing is, is that when you do get a kill, you get a really cool kill feed that just looks super dynamic. I, I don't know what that was though. And you really can do some awesome stuff with this. I really do love this mod. It is so fun. It honestly feels like it was officially added or something. So what else can you do? Well, thankfully there is quite a few other things. One, pressing the alt key is going to have you roll. Now this of course is very useful if you want to get out of the way, which of course you can do this in conjunction with shooting. And I think you'll really like the results that you get. All right guys, sorry about that. That map was definitely a little too claustrophobic for me. So we've gone onto a much more open-ended map. Now we can truly run free and test this at its peak. All right, so like I said, this is a very fun mod and we've seen everything in first person up to now. Let's go ahead and change perspective to see just how things have changed. And here we are in third person. So I do believe that this mod does use the WOS animation extension mod. But check this out, guys. Look at how sick this mod is. Like, I even remember recording this. And we also get some pretty cool sprinting animations, which I didn't even know was a thing. So obviously I could talk about this all day, but let's go ahead and do a demonstration. So this is a perfect example of why you should be doing the back roll. And then next up, we can go over here, and there is another Odessa. Now this guy is in a prime spot to jump forward. Now, if you are kind of annoyed by the constant camera effects, don't worry, you can turn them off. But I think in the right instances, it can definitely add some flair to your kills. So we've already seen what roll looks like, but check it out. We even get an animation for it, it is so cool. All right, but what if you don't want to have to jump to activate slow-mo? Well, guess what? We have a hotkey to do that. So if you want to roll and do some slow-mo stuff, you totally can. And that is the X key, of course. So let's go ahead and spawn in Odessa here and see how this looks. So now we have full control over when we want this to end. And that means that we can do it during any action. And yes, that even means while rolling. All right, so what else do we got? Well, for one, I love the way the legs move. I don't know why, just everything seems so much more on point with the animations, but caps lock. Okay, it looks a little goofy, but we can now slide and do some pretty cool stuff. Now, one thing I did notice is when you do slide, it is not going to activate the bullet time mode. You will have to do that manually, but I figured we could spawn some combine in because check this out. You can see their individual bullets. That is so cool. And now the good thing is, is that if you activate slow-mo manually and then you do the jump, after the jump is over, the slow-mo will automatically end. So if that's something you're after, then there you go. But we want to do something else. Oh, that is so badass. So I think we kind of got stuck there. Again, you do have to turn it off manually. And something I also just noticed is you can actually turn on slow motion while rolling and sliding. They're turned off by default, I don't know why, but now when we do roll, we get slow-mo, and when we slide, we get slow-mo. So, there you go. You don't even have to worry about manually doing it now. 
Now something that's really cool is you can adjust the strength of the slow motion. Now I can't show you this guys because it is off screen because well my whole setup is kind of like that. But you can choose to turn on the kill camera on the last enemy killed or just turn it off entirely. But now we can use our weapons, we can go into slow mo, we can get the results we want. We do got slow mo on roll and of course we also have it on slide. That was the last kill so that was the kill cam. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do the slide here. Again, we do got the slow-mo on deck. It is so cool, and it gives you plenty of time to do everything you want to do. And you can even link things up together if you want. So, for instance, if you wanted to go for a slide here, and then immediately go for a jump, you can definitely do that, and then just go for another jump. There really is nothing stopping you from being the ultimate action badass that you've always wanted to be. And that truly is what this mod encapsulates, so I hope you guys do enjoy playing around with this, because I will always love this mod until the day I die. It is one of my favorite mods, and honestly, I forgot about it. I think it was removed. I'm very glad to have it back. But other than that, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. As always, if you want to leave a like or subscribe, you guys totally can. I want to thank you all so much for watching this until the end. You can use code NECROS94 to save 20% off your next G Fuel order. I would love to know what you guys think about this video, and until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.